understanding glacial lake outburst floods which is glof so before we begin let's understand there are the various glaciers that are there now these glaciers there is the snow that is coming so that leads to accumulation and then there is process of ablation that is melting of the ice but this process is a kind of continuous process that occurs so you have addition of ice and removal of ice but what happens under certain times is that the process of removal is more again when the glacier slowly and gradually moves it leaves the sediments behind these are in the forms of boulders clay sand gravel and and these keep depositing and the glacier keeps moving forward now as the glacier keeps moving forward these deposition creates a natural dam so moraines as we call them these moraines are the natural dams that are created and these natural dams that are created basically helps to understand the process of retention of water but when you have there is a kind of overflow of this water which was caused due to various various other reasons that we would understand in a while that could lead to an outburst flood because these moraines create natural dams and if these dams are either overflowed or punctured these could lead to extreme floods and devastation of a lot of civilization in the lower levels now there is a brief difference between the jokulap jokulap is basically the water which is contained by the glacier as it melts however when we are talking about glof as we understood you have the moraines that create natural dams and these dams if are not able to sustain there would be floods that would be witnessed and this could be seen as A rapid release of water in the down regions or the lower regions that could create environmental impact, significant imp uh, environmental damage in those areas. Also, there could be drastic events that could be seen, sudden changes in environmental conditions. As you have so huge mass of glacier that is melting, it would definitely have greater impacts onto the ecosystem around and. the amount of water is going into the river would increase significantly now what happens how does this glof actually triggers the reason is very very simple there could be a avalanche that could be seen there could be significant earthquakes that could be seen uh, human activities and those we say the anthropogenic activities could be in the form of let's say deforestation it could be in the form of burning of forest areas or there could be a collapse of the dam now these moraine dams which are the natural dams as we understood could be collapsed in certain fashion all of the water that is being collected is washed through or is being piped out in that case there could be the trigger to the flood events that could occur earthquake as we already discussed now environmental pollution is another significant cause for the triggering of glof now you might understand how the reason is very very simple what happens is black carbon which is also known as soot gets deposited on the glacier now since it is black it has higher power of absorbing and as a result you would have quicker melting of the glaciers and this quicker melting of the glaciers would lead to triggering of the flood events so this glaciers would start to melt rapidly and as a result you would have the triggering of the effect that would be seen and there can be fragmentation of the glaciers that could also be seen so those are some of the basic reasons we understand why there have been sudden glacial outburst floods that are seen and sikkim is one of the regions which has been recently worst of affected by these glof activities so this was a basic idea how these glacial bodies have been moving down and there has been increasing level of flood activities that has been witnessed and some of the reasons that trigger it have been discussed here so a very important topic for you we would be bringing in many such environmental topics in the upcoming classes stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead